What is up guys, JGP Cardistry here. We are back again with another unboxing. Uh, I'm pretty excited for this unboxing. I have been anticipated to actually get this. I think it took about two months, I would say. I got it around May 27th, which was around my birthday. And I really wanted to make this video sooner. Uh, it was gonna be like a birthday haul type video, but um, it's just gonna be a very good big unboxing and I hope y'all guys enjoy. By the way, I know y'all have seen the back. I know I normally don't show my face and this video is gonna be me showing my face. So I am gonna unbox this just like this. Uh, I feel like I wanna do something different, you know, as far as how I make my videos. I know I made a playing card collection video not too long ago. Uh, I would say maybe it's gonna be like a good year or so that I've made that video. But I am gonna show y'all a little sneak preview of how the card room has you know, evolved and changed, and I hope y'all guys enjoy. I am gonna show y'all, you know, what my displays look like with my card cases, uh, in terms of what I have collected so far in my collection. You know, I've just added so many different decks, and I, I haven't really had time to actually make a video of uh, me unboxing every single one or doing reviews. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoy this video, guys. Let's get right into this unboxing. I am so excited. Let's get right into it, guys. So let's get right into it guys. It is a very heavy package, so I am pretty excited. I'm gonna just get into it. I don't wanna cut myself. So I got that. It sounds like the cards are kind of, just kind of thrown in there. Uh, I really hope they're not just tossed in there. Shout out to the seller though, you know, very nice guy. I have bought from him before. I will put his um, eBay user down there. In case you are interested, you know, go check him out. He does have an eBay account, so. Let's get right into it, guys. Okay, I'm pretty nervous. So, we do have a, another package in here. Whoa. All right, so this is pretty cool, guys. Uh, I didn't want to spoil it, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. So, I did buy some more smoke and mirrors. Um, I know I made a video from a, I bought, I believe 16 in one order and then I bought 25 or 23 in one order. So, so I did kind of splurge a little bit. Uh, I don't want to take this big one out, but I'll, I'll show you what I got. So I got more V5s. So I did buy V5s and my case to my right, um, that one is, all smoke and mirrors guys I will show you on a little bit but this is basically like my whole entire smoke and mirrors display I do have another one right here but in terms of like my whole entire smoke and mirrors collection uh, I do have them spread out throughout the room but this one right here is more of my smoke and mirror so I will be adding these to that case um, I got V5 right here I got one I got two so I'll put those right there and then I got three so that's three four five six seven eight so i did get eight v5s uh and he was nice enough to throw two extra decks so i did get for the extra decks i got a i believe this is a white if i'm not mistaken uh it's a tahoe 2011 uh i don't know if it's cincinnati i think it's a linger kentucky yeah it's not Cincinnati, it's a Linger, Kentucky. So I got that for free. So he, th he did throw that in because he did take a long time. And then I got a Aristocrat playing cards. I don't know if this is, yeah, this is a Linger, Kentucky. So these are the Bluebacks Gold Seal. So that's pretty cool right there. Very sick. And then last but not least, guys, I did get a brick of Smoke and Mirrors V6. So as you can see that right there, it is a sealed smoke and mirrors brick. Um, I really do want to open this, but I mean, just having it sealed is, wow, that is crazy. I mean, hopefully they're all in there. Yeah, there are. So as far as the deal goes, I did get a really, really sweet deal. I have bought from him before, so, you know, and I have sent people to him. So this deal is pretty crazy. Uh, I did buy 20 smoke and mirrors total. Yeah guys, this was the unboxing. I was a little excited. I do really want to open this, um, but it's just, man, I really don't want to open this 
you know, it's just, I can't, like, why would I even open this, you know what I mean? Uh, it is a brick of V6 smoke and mirrors, 8 V5 smoke and mirrors, and 2 extra decks that he threw in for free. So shout out to him, shout out to Adam. Adam is a very, very nice guy. And yeah guys, this was the unboxing. I know these videos take, you know, don't take that much time, uh, but I did want to add, you know, these little Easter eggs. I do want to show y'all how the card room is looking so far. Um, I'm excited to show y'all guys, so, you know, hold y'all seat, you know, so let's get it. Let's get it, guys. So I will start here, guys. Uh, I do have y'all on my handheld tripod. I have on top my Smoke and Mirrors V15, the 15th anniversary edition. And then I have in this beautiful, beautiful wooden case. You can see that right there. Very, very nice. Just picked this one up actually. By the way, I do buy all of my cases. Everything you see as far as wood wise, I do get them at either thrift shops or I get them at offer up. So I do get a lot of questions, you know, where do I, where can I find cases like this? And guys, honestly, every single case, this one I found on offer up, thrift shop, thrift shop, that little one I bought on danandave.com. Uh, this one, offer up, this one, offer up on top, all thrift. I'll thrift it on there and uh, I'll keep going and I'll keep showing y'all where I get them from but every everything you see here guys I mean thrift shop that one was homemade I, I got that one made at work these two thrift shop um, offer up on the bottom right here so everything you see is thrifted guys so as far as the cases goes or offer up so just a little tip of advice that way in case you are interested in displaying y'all's playing cards so let's get right to it right here I do have my beautiful splay I have the special edition and I have the standard edition um, on top you have the splay decks same thing standard and I have the gilded edition on top in the middle right there I have the smoke and mirror b15 this one was the numbered case uh, I believe it's two something out of 500 so there's only 500 of those so that's pretty limited it's a two deck combo and it's signed by Dan and Dave and Brad Fulton. So shout out to Brad and Dan and Dave. So uh, smoke and mirrors right here. These are all smoke and mirrors V8. So don't get them confused. It's not no V1s, I wish. Um, V8s, got some V15s right there in the back. And then right here, I got the white smoke, well, um, black mirrors right there. Beautiful combo. And then going down right here, I do have some DVDs that are signed. You know, got Chris Kenner, Brad Fulton, Dan and Dave, uh, Kevin Ho, and Chad Nelson. So everyone that, you know, was included in the credits of the trilogy. So got that signed. In the back right here, I do have a, a cut deck actually. So I will show y'all real quick. And what I like about this little case, it opens on the side. So I will show y'all right here. As you can see that right there, it is a cut deck in this beautiful beautiful acrylic case uh, it is signed by Dan and Dave and Brad Fulton so this one is cut by cut my deck so I will tag him in this video that way y'all can follow him uh, and all of his work is on xdex.com uh, they are all available uh, I believe they're available through xdex and available through eBay as well so yeah, got that cut deck right there. This one in particular are all V8s. V4s in the back right there. V4, 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 V4. Uh, got this beautiful Lazy Town deck. If y'all aren't familiar with the Lazy Town, um, go check it out, Lazy Town, Dan and Dave. Look it up on YouTube. It's actually a TV show. It's from Iceland that Dan and Dave used to do hand doubles. So they were the hand doubles for Sporticus. That I used to watch that show with my sister. Uh, in the morning so I think that was pretty insane and yeah on top right here these are actually that's a v3 and that is a v2 I'm gonna open that v2 soon but I will do a unboxing video or like a review type video that brick in the back right here is empty by the way so I uh, got the system right there of course signed by Chris Kenner Brad Fulton Dan and Dave this one right here is, of course paper cuts signed by Chris Kenner Dan and Dave uh, I don't know why I got Chris Kenner to sign that but he was nice enough to sign that going down below I do have some nursery rhyme uh, books these are reprints guys so 
they're not the originals. The originals are impossible to find. And then I have the Cardman. That one is, of course, reprint. I bought them from a seller on eBay. He had them on auction and he had another set for sale. So I just asked him and he sold me it. So shout out to that seller. Uh, right here, I do have more V4s. As you can see that right there, I got four V4s in the back. The rest are all V5s. Uh, and this little homemade, it's not homemade, but I built it myself. It's a little puzzle type case and it closes. I'll show y'all real quick that way. It's pretty neat. I bought this one off of Articlay if y'all are interested. Um, you know, so this little thing, I believe they pop up if I'm mistaken. Oh, you gotta push it down here, sorry. So you push it down here, it pops up. I haven't done it in a, in a while, so. So this is by U Gears, if you are interested. Um, you can find it on ugears.com or you can go on Art of Play and get those. They have this one and then they have the uh, 12 deck or the 369, nine deck display. It should be 12, 9, 10, 11, 12, but those. The one little sleeves on top, this one right here, it doesn't really. And then what's cool about this one, I'll show you. I'll show you this one real quick. So yeah, this one actually folds back like that. So you can actually just, you know, if you want, you can put it forward or push it back. Pretty cool. That's U Gears, guys. Uh, on the bottom, guys, I do have uh, some smoke and mirror V6s. So I got V6s, I got three V5s in the back right there. I believe there's 11 or 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, yeah, so there's 12 V6s right there. Uh, on the bottom right here, I do have some V15s, then I have the V9s in the back right there. I have the gold, purple, uh, baby blue, I guess you can say, or aqua. Got the pink, uh, another gold, and the Smoke and Mirrors Garden Edition by Dealer's Grip. And Dan and Dave, so actually, and that one is signed as well. And then I have the box cover of the trilogy right there. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, this is probably like my pride and joy, guys. Honestly, I can't wait to add the new smoke and mirrors on there. And yeah, so this is, I guess you can say, my smoke and mirrors commemoration display. I try to get more of like the older smoke and mirrors in this case. For now, I think the V8s and the V15s can do. I am gonna add more and switch stuff around. So on top right here, I do have dealer's grip all throughout. Um, you know, I got some symbol, some off-world scene, smoke and mirrors, all the smoke and mirror collabs, some glisk, um, sepal, and then I have the uh, hollow sepal right there. And then I found this little beautiful case at Goodwill. And I just put all my, I guess you can say trash decks. You know, a lot of the decks that I bought at Magic Shops, a lot of the decks that I got free at Carter Street Con, so are just all there. Stuff that I got, novelty stuff, um, casino card that I got as a gift, and some gold waterproof cards, you know, a few waterproof cards in there. So yeah, that's pretty cool. This whole section right here is my Cincinnati section. I have all the bicycle vintage design, most of them. I need maybe a few more colorways, but I have uh, the fan backs, I got the bicycle backs, safety backs the tangent the racer so that's pretty much all on top and they're all cincinnati so i have some bicycles as well got some broadway seconds right there if y'all like a borderless backs then i have on the bottom right here i do have you know some brown wins some two purple wins um tally hose i got fan backs and circle backs i do have a beautiful jerry's nugget so i will open it that way i can actually see got that right there in the middle next to a golden nugget so the golden nugget is actually sealed so this is an open jerry's nugget but it's in pristine condition guys talking about like never even used honestly hardly even used. Um, and then i have a beautiful golden nugget you can see that right there and i put them in these cases i do want to buy some acrylic cases but sooner I will get some <clears throat> that one I got a really good deal honestly the golden nugget I got a really really good deal both Jerry's nugget and the golden nugget shout out to my buddy we got some beautiful watermelon bees right there I am looking for the blue ones I forgot how thick they were honestly we got some aristocrats right here so these are all Cincinnati guys by the way so these are casino back jumbo index and then I have some world poker series we got some beautiful blue winds some brown winds right there in the back um, Tally Hose, Aristocrat, got some Arcos in the back right there, uh, more Racer, more Tangent, 
and then have one thistle back one fan back uh, I do have this novelty deck small soldiers I did do a review on this one and then coming down to the bottom I do have some more bicycles more bicycle designs um, a club B special uh, I believe this one is the Cambodia yeah so this one's the Cambodia edition casino back yeah I got some original bicycles right there those old school black and white silver ones got some Virginia Slims right there some more small soldier decks so I did buy like a six six deck deal I did buy a six deck deal on these small soldiers so I do have a few of those so this is all my Cincinnati not these up here but of course all in that case these are all my Cincinnati's uh, I do want to expand my Cincinnati collection though because I love love the original stock of Cincinnati you know I love to just open one crack one open so for the next one I do have I guess you can say up there is my art of play display I have the damn good cards uh, I have some curious wonders that I just got from art of play uh, I got it from the vault on July 4th so those are pretty sick and honestly I highly highly recommend those if you do if you don't know what they are I will zoom in so they are these blue ones right here those are just beautiful beautiful guys uh, I would highly recommend those honestly the damn good cards are really really good I mean they're damn good cards so <laughs> uh, yeah so I got some magic books right here too some sleight of hand books some card tricks some optical illusion books uh, I just felt like these side bins were you know they were just empty so I was like yeah, I'm just gonna put some books in there so um, yeah so I got some smoke and mirrors some collabs here and there most of them are just art of play and Dan and Dave so uh, got that up there so coming down to this beautiful brown case I do have a few varieties in here uh, these are mostly just all my exclusive brands I guess you can say these are just collectibles um, things that you know are just on my book that were on my bucket list and I just really wanted to get slowly I'll go down that way y'all can actually absorb all of it and I will I have it sectionized so on top I have all my illusionists so these are all your original illusionists a few of them are the new ones I do have the ultra gaff deck by Daniel Garcia and Wayne Houchin um, this is the original DVDs and then I do have the original deck back there and then I have some you know this one actually is actually fake guys so that one is a fake ultra gaff deck so y'all be careful out there they are fakes out there uh, I do have a series 1800 some cohort ghost edition bicycle so these are all um, older this one however is newer the shadow masters is older um, this beautiful beautiful acrylic case that you can hardly even see I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit though you can actually see there you go so this is an original first edition black ghost it is all shiny because it's acrylic but it did come in this beautiful case and I got a really really good deal honestly guys I am gonna tell y'all I got I got this for $98 so if y'all collect illusionist decks and y'all know how much it is that deck alone goes for four hundred dollars without the acrylic case but it came with this beautiful original acrylic case that it came with uh, I believe the person bought it from I believe they had like a Christmas special or some type of special they had and I guess you you spent three hundred dollars or more and you got that for free so he definitely hooked it up not only that but he threw in that and he threw in these two right here so this is the first edition for the people that don't know this is how the ghost decks go same thing with the white so there's the first edition right and this first edition has gray on the sides so as you can see that right there this is all gray and gray on top and it's a white seal same thing so this one is a complete reverse to this one so I do want to get an acrylic case for this one but these two are completely reversed they're exactly identical um, but this one in particular this one is first edition right and then they came out with a second edition which is this one right here so this one's the second edition and then this is the third edition so they have first second third so there's three ver three different versions of this deck same thing goes with the white one there's three different versions of this deck as well the reason I can tell is because I bought this one the time that illusionist was still around and I started noticing that they started changing the bottoms of the deck because this one has the jack of diamonds reveal on the barcode and this one doesn't this one just says Alinger Kentucky right so this was after that whole dispute about lawsuits and stuff so yeah and then same thing with this one so they they just slowly started changing and I started noticing but didn't really pay no mind to it then uh, but yeah there's three versions of each deck so 
just a heads up and then i did get this beautiful beautiful messenger bag from ebay as well i paid like 50 bucks for it i didn't think it was this big i thought it was like a fanny pack you know i was pretty excited i was like ah let's shove a few decks in there it's a whole messenger bag so i mean it looks kind of weird in here i just wanted to display it so i think it's pretty sick and it is original illusionist uh side bag so then coming down right here i have montenzi uh beautiful beautiful brand if y'all don't know what Montenzi is, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, I did do a review on this, by the way, on all the decks, most of them. So, Seasons playing cards from here all out through here. So, all the way to the corner. Beautiful, beautiful. I mean, Seasons playing cards, I really don't have to elaborate on them. You know, that brand is just so sick. By the way, if anyone got the Limbo or the Blind Tiger, please comment down below because I really want to see what that deck looks like. Coming down here, you know, I did get into Fontaine's lately. I do have a little collection going on on Fontaine. But as far as Fontaine, I love, love certain decks. Um, I can't say I love them all. My favorite line of Fontaine has to be the Fantasies. Uh, as you can see, I do have a grid right here. So I have a silver grid um, that it's still sealed. So I haven't opened it. I'm waiting to get another one. Um, I got two Oops All Jokers. I have two Clay Fontaines. Um, I have a Cell deck. What else? Good Company. Um, Discover World. And I have the Gradient back there. Gradient. That one's really sick. I love the back on that one. Of course, I did get the Foils. So I got two of the uh, Rubies. Um, probably like my favorite ones, honestly. Uh, I'm trying to get some Amethyst. The Amethyst are really, really nice. Um, as far as uh, Fontaine goes, you know, I have the Pink Panther. That one's really sick. I uh, have some Rugrats right there. I do have one font 5,000. Uh, it's the rat deck. Shout out to Kelsey Little for selling me that one. Shout out to Kelsey, Kelsey for actually selling me the gradient, the 5,000, the silver grid, and the clay fontaine. So shout out to Kelsey for those. So moving on, I do have some Theory 11s right there. You know, Theory 11s, a lot of people know what those are. Uh, and then on the bottom right here, I do have mixed. So I have, you know, Absolute Vodka, some exclusive bicycle by, uh, card experiment um bokoba the lightning deck i believe yeah the lightning bicycle those are really sick i have some some realms back there uh i have some x decks decks that i got in the back right there these are actually from x decks right there you can see uh, another ruby right there satellites a zodiac deck and yeah just mixed mixed decks uc got some vincent van gogh i got that one from harapon the newton Sleight of hand, Newton deck right there. Leonardo da Vinci, and then have some missings right there. A collab with missings. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this card case. This one is actually really organized. Um, I mean, most of them are organized, but this one's more sectionalized. Like, this has its own little section, you know what I mean? And I love how you can still see them through, but it's kind of like gated in a way, so. Pretty sick, and it does have some drawers on the bottom, so I could just put some stuff in there uh, the next one I do have is my table so this is my coffee table so this one I did get on offer up so I paid about I would say 125 120 so I do have some worry bricks right there got some puzzles some little mind busters right there uh, expert at the card table I have the v1 v2 I have the expert at the card table book and I have the DVD as well um, got some Jenny mags right there, an Art of Play mag, I think it's Telegram if I'm not mistaken. I've got some more Nursery Rhymes, have another set. The Cardistry Con book, and then I just have some sign decks. One from Kevin Ho, got some uh, Fontaines. I believe those are the Glitter if I'm not mistaken. Hollow, the Rainbow Hollow, uh, gold one, green one with the splatter. Got the Kevin Ho deck right there, got anyone, Tobias signed that one. And then I have some normal cards. Those are the ones that change colors in the sun. Uh, what else? Some Stratosphere, some more Fontaine, some Seppel, and a Harry Potter deck. This deck that I did wash in the washer. And yeah, it's pretty much it. The Cardistry Con game cards. So that's that for the table. This is a nice little display table I have. And then coming up over here on the top of my computer, I have two Smoke and Mirror V8 uncut sheets. Got some little stuff just displayed there. You know, nothing too special. Uh, my computer where I edit it is a little mess right now. I have my stuff everywhere But as far as my computer goes, that's it right there And then coming to right here To the other side. I do have a TCC setup um, Display all the TCC decks up there got the ugly duckling. I do want the ugly duckling v1. 
I think this is the V2, the white V1. Oh, such a gorgeous deck. This one's actually pretty sick too. Card collage, card college, whatever you want to call it. Card college. Got the brown version. And then the Mucha, Muka, Mucha. I don't know how to say it, but it's a Mucha, uh, Muka. I don't know how to say it. I think it's Mucha. They have, uh, I got the gold version, the silver version. There was, it was a Kickstarter that I joined. And I do have extra decks in there as well. And then I have my TCC, um, like holders, card holders. It's for half a brick on each one. And then they're like travel cases, if you are familiar with them. And then of course the card cases, the card clips, you know, card storage, whatever you want to call them. And then right here I have more decks. These are the, the Hunter Deck Display. This one in particular uh, has Aladdin's red and blue, uh, smooth finish and air cushion. I have some uh, firsts, you know, Cardistry Con, some bicycles, a little bit of everything. Things that I have, some sealed. Most of them are all sealed. But going up right here, I do have my Tally Ho Viper by Illusionist uncut sheets. Pretty sick. How to display those. And then coming down, I do have another display right here. So I have some uh, Jenny Mags right here. Have a Jenny Mag from, I believe this one is from 2011. And this one I believe is from 2003, 2004. All, both of them signed by Brad Fulton, Dan and Dave, Chris Kenner. Because Chris Kenner said he took that picture. I don't know if I can see it. I want to show you. It's the one I have in the coffee table as well. But This one, uh, Chris Kenner said those were, those were his jackets. And that he took that picture at like a mall or something. So uh, I got some V9s right there. Some bicycle. Got some reverse back, spider, scorpion, um, dragon. I never had those back, back then. So I was like, you know what? I really want those. And just to have them in person, you know, pretty sick. Uh, I do have a little Jerry's Nugget display right here. These aren't original. Those are just, you know, reprints. But I have the black, the silver, the red, the blue, and the yellow. Next one, I do have an Anyone set up right here. So this one is all Anyone's. I will open it, that way there won't be the glare. Sorry about that, guys. So right there, I have the Anyone's. I bought that hat at Cardistry Con. I should have gotten a sign. I don't know why I didn't. But I uh, got some Runaway World, some Seppel. Some black dots, um, blue anyone, box logo, and of course the Dan and Dave smoke and mirror checkered back. Uh, pretty sick. Next one, I do have a another absolute, uh, some Tahoes. I am going to add that one Tahoe I got today to this collection. So I'll have five. Uh, the Massa English Laundry. Love, love English Laundry. Uh, anything Dan and Dave, you know, I just love. And not to mention, I remember when these actually came out with the trailer and everything. I think I guess they were promoting or did a collab with like English Laundry, the clothing brand, and they came out with those, so I thought that was pretty sick. Uh, I'll open this side too. Right here I have my dealer's grip. Um, actually, I, I've been obsessed with dealer's grip lately, uh, especially the off-worlds, the off-world decks. Oh, I love, love those decks. Uh, of course, the Seppel Hollow, super sick. I really want more of those. I think I only got like two, yeah, I only got two of those. Um, you know, of course, the collab, some symbol, scene. Uh, I got another off world in the back right there. So I got three off worlds. So I love those decks, honestly. Probably my favorite abstract deck from Dealer's Grip. And then I have all the um, cool little bicycles you, you know, you find at Barnes and Noble, Walgreens, stuff like that. Got the Stargazer, Fireflies. Uh, what's that one on there? Ice, Stargazer, Nebula. Stargazer, um, Stargazer, Sunspot, and Asteroid playing card, and then the Firebird. So, some of them were gifts. Most of them I bought off uh, from Barnes and Noble. Sorry if I'm moving the camera a lot, guys. I do apologize. I'm just going skimming through them. So for the next one, I do have some more smoke and mirrors up here. Then I have a UC deck on the left. This one's actually a V3 smoke. I'm yet to open one of these, honestly. I'm a little nervous to open them, only because they're a little pricey. But these right here, so this is the smoke and mirror setup that I was showing up. I, I get a lot of compliments from this one, but this one in particular, it's like a cherry wood. Beautiful, beautiful. Like a, I don't know, man. Like this thing is just so awesome. And it fits the cards perfectly. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, I found this one at Goodwill as well. I think I paid like 50 bucks for it. It's a little, a little steep, but pretty sick. I do want to get more shelves, so I think I'm going to get one, two, three, four. Four shelves that I need to buy. Um, they're little glass shelves, but I'm definitely, definitely going to get more. But anyways, this is most of my smoke and mirror collection. So I always wanted to get from V1, you know, all the way to the most recent ones. And it's almost happening, guys. So if 
for any reason guys y'all see something that I don't have or y'all know that I don't have something or you know comment down below and let me know so I will go through them I do have the v1 v2 v3 so I need this the smoke for the v1 and the v2 so if y'all know anyone let me know guys um, I find a lot of v3s v3s are more common than these two for sure just makes more sense, you know. V4, V4. So the reason why I have two V4s is because one has a sticker and one doesn't. So 2500 have stickers, as you can see that right there. It has the seal. And then 2500 don't have seals. So it's just part of, you know, the collection, I guess. V5, V6, V7, 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 V7. All the way to the carbon. Um, these are reprints though of the V7, so I do need to find the first edition. So this is the V8, V8, V8. All these are V8s, V8, V8, uh, V9, V9, V9. I would say these are like V V8.5s only because they have another version of you know of these. So I feel like these are probably like the 0.5s. The other ones are the V8s. I don't know how to explain that, but they have a China release of these, so. They are slightly different. The box is different. And I think the cars are different as well. So. And then you have the V15s uh, coming down right here. I do have, of course, the collab. I have, I believe, I have a few sets of these. I have one extra mirror, but I have two sets of this one, of the dealer's grip, smoke and mirror. Uh, I have two sets and I have one extra mirror. So I do need one more smoke to have three sets. Um, this one, is the garden edition and then this one just came out actually um i am going to do a review on this one but this one is the i guess lap yeah the last machine blue edition so this one's in commemoration of the v5 if i'm not mistaken but i don't know for some reason they advertised it as they were going to bring two decks out like a red version that they were going to bring out like a red version and a blue version so i don't know i think they're going to release another version of those probably like a red version i wouldn't doubt it that'd be cool and then you have a V9, 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 and then another Lazy Town deck, and then you have a, a Tahoe from Dan and Dave. I believe this one's numbered. So yeah, 908 from 2500. So this is pretty rare. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little out of focus, but yeah. So that is, I guess you can say this is like a whole playing card collection video. I just really wanted to give y'all the rundown just so Y'all know where I stand as far as collection. Um, oh, I almost forgot. Down below here, so I do have more. I guess you can say this is like my Fulton's um, section, but I still have smoke and mirrors in here. So I have a smoke and mirrors special edition right there, blue, a red, V8, so these are all V8s. Then I have a V9 baby blue, turquoise, whatever you wanna call it. I do have my trilogy, uh, the trilogy uh, and then some. So that's the extra DVD that's like a spin-off from the trilogy. It is signed by Dan and Dave. And then I have Quantum Mechanics that is signed by Dan and Dave and Chris Kenner. And then in the corner right here, I got some Vertigo. I love, love the Vertigos. Um, and then I have some Smoke and Mirror Silver back there. And then down here, I guess you can say this is my Brad Fulton uh, section. So I have my 10 year anniversary brown Fultons right there. Got the orange ones. I got two orange ones actually. Got two orange ones. Then I have a Fultonol uh, photographic playing cards. Those are pretty sick. They remind me of the City of Angels or Angles, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, those are pretty dope. Um, I got the White Jazz right there. Fulton's Chinatown playing cards uh, signed by Brad Fulton. And then I have a pink Fulton's deck right there. This one is pretty rare. Um, it's probably my oldest Fulton deck right there. I really use that deck a lot. And then I have this one, the Fulton, uh, 10 year anniversary as well. This one is the, I believe, Ivory. And yeah, that is pretty much the bottom case. I will show you a little far away close up though, y'all can see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like right here. As you can see. So in the corner, I do have this one as well. This one is outside of the card room, you can see. But it also has LEDs and it is a corner case. So I will show you all this real quick. I do have some um, foil back right there, some bicycle, mostly all bicycles. Uh, I have some 
Arcos. These are like really 2018 or 2011, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, these are from 2011. So 2011 Arcos. Uh, I believe they're all from 2011, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, these are 2018. So I do have some 2018, 2011 um, Arcos. So I do have some 2011, 2018 Arcos, some Tally Hose. I believe these are from as well. 2018 so I did buy a break of 2018 tally hose uh, black seal if I'm not mistaken yeah so they are black seal not blue seal uh, same thing with the Aladdin's as well I don't know if these are 2011 2015 so fairly you know not too too new but somewhat modern I guess you can say and then of course I do have some more down there uh, these are pretty much like CVS Drugstore, you know, playing cards you can get. Most of them I did get from or my local magic shop. Most of them I did get from my local magic shop. And then on the bottom I do have more Aladdins down there. So, and then I have some gilded Aladdins right there. I believe these are from 2011, if I'm mistaken. 2009, wow. So these are actually, why Cincinnati? Nope, these are Elanger, Kentucky. So these are still from 2009. But they're Linger, Kentucky, so that was after the transition. And yeah, so this is the um, corner case that I do have in my hall. As you can see, very, very beautiful. So I do want to soon, like, you know, mix it up, just change it up. I always do that every so often, so I definitely will. But yeah, guys, that is, I guess that concludes my whole entire collection. I wanted to just skim through it, that way y'all know, you know, what to prepare for for later, so. But that is it for today, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. This was JGP Cardistry. I was very excited for this unboxing. Uh, you know, I can't wait to actually post this video. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and hopefully, you guys enjoyed the whole entire playing card room. You know, I know it's you know it's it's grown a lot, and I haven't really updated y'all as it grew. I kind of do regret that. You know, I should have at least you know shown y'all what I buy on a daily basis but hopefully guys when I get more time I really do want to indulge in like you know showing y'all how to display your cards what to do when you know you buy a case or just stuff like that you know things that you would you know as a collector you would just want to do you know to just have your cards displayed you know that way they can look nice in your room or in your house whatever you want to do so hopefully you guys enjoyed this was JGP Cardistry please guys comment down below we are at I believe 170 subscribers so i really appreciate everyone that's subscribing everyone that's commenting uh, if you have any questions guys please feel free to message me on youtube message me on instagram um, on instagram on jgp cardistry i will put all my links right here i post on tiktok i post on instagram um, on youtube i will start making a little shorts here and there as well um, but I will come around to it guys. Hopefully I guys enjoyed. This is JGP Cardistry. We are out. Peace.